properties of sulfur. Attention! Molten sulfur causes severe burns on contact with the human body. Sulfur dioxide is highly toxic and can cause severe damage of the mucous membranes and the respiratory tract. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of these experiments. Sulfur is an element with lots of different properties. Best known is flour of sulfur, which is sold as a light yellow powder in large amounts. In nature, flour of sulfur is found as yellow crystals. Solid sulfur has several allotropes. One of the most common ones is diaphor sulfur, known as rhombohedral sulfur, which is shown here. Another common allotrope is the beta sulfur, which is also called monoclinic sulfur. Solid sulfur is made out of rings that contain eight atoms. Sulfur has a melting point of about 115 degrees C. The molten sulfur has three different allotropes. When it is molten carefully, the liquid is called lambda sulfur. Here the sulfur rings are moving freely. When heated further, the rings are broken up and rings are formed with different amounts of atoms, as for example 6, 7 or 10 atoms. This is called pi sulfur. In addition to that, long chains are formed, which are also known as mu sulfur. Pi and mu sulfur are in an equilibrium that is dependent on the temperature. At 156 degrees C, it moves to the mu sulfur. At a higher temperature, the chains become entangled until the melt reaches its maximum viscosity at 187 degrees C. When heated further, the chains are broken up again, causing the viscosity to decrease again. When a large amount of sulfur is heated to this point and poured into cold water, the mu sulfur can be obtained, which is also known as plastic sulfur. Plastic sulfur has a rubber-like consistency and can be torn easily. In a few days, the plastic sulfur becomes solid again. When sulfur is heated carefully in a crucible, the following observation can be made when it cools down again. In the liquid, small needles are formed. When the liquid part is poured out, monoclinic sulfur is obtained. Sulfur is almost insoluble in most common solvents. Only in carbon disulfide it is easily soluble, but when high boiling solvents like toluene or in this case shell sol D70 are used, the sulfur dissolves. When the mixture cools, small needles are formed. When sulfur is ignited, it burns with a flame that is not visible in daylight. The sulfur then reacts with the oxygen to form sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide reacts with water to form sulfurous acid, which can be shown with a wet pH paper. 
that a flame is present is indicated by the paper getting burned close to the sulfur. In the dark, sulfur burns with a blue flame. This were some of the properties of sulfur. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.